hello wonderful people welcome to another video from our last video we stopped at add rating settings today we're gonna go over to the next item we have here and in case you're joining us for the first time this is where we are at the moment from your dashboard you go to appearance and we are just done with ad settings so we're going to move straight to email templates this section is as easy as anything it talks about all the email notifications in an ad forest such as when a new user registers on your website which message goes to the user and which message comes to you this is where you configure everything as you want it to look like so i'm going to be um, taking a look at what we have at this side the first thing here is new ad email it simply means when a user posts a new ad how do, does the site admin get the notification so when you come down to this place this is what it looks like I'm not gonna touch anything here I'm just gonna do a little demonstration so with this on our back end I need to go to my front end and uh, here I need to log in as a registered user so for example if I am user one oh, oh okay I need to log in with my email address so I put in my email address and my password and I am logged in so what we're about to test now is new ad details so I'm gonna quickly submit a new ad so this is what I'm gonna do click on post an ad so I'm just gonna do something random here So here I say submit. Okay. My ad is um submitted. And um this is the bidding. So Based on the settings I have here, I'm supposed to receive an email. If you look here, the ad is posted and waiting for admin's approval. But still, there's no message for the admin. And that's because when you come to general settings, that is ad settings, um, send email on ad post is set off so I need to turn it on then email for notification where do I want that email to go to so the email you put here should be the admin's email So this is why I said uh, it's actually very important to activate anything email because it will enable you get notifications as at when do. 
so for this setting i'm going to copy this email i'm going to paste that here that's because as the admin you need to put an email where you want to get your notifications and what not notification are we talking about is a notification on a new ad post so if we create a new post now now i'm gonna fast forward this and come back when the ad post is almost ready so right now i'm submitting a new ad and it says ad updated successfully and here is the ad and is waiting for approval from the admin meanwhile let's go check our mail if uh, we're gonna receive any posts okay as you can see received a post and actually I want to compare what you see here with what we have um, in that uh, template so what I'll do is uh, I will simply snap this so as you can see the template here there's something here this one here so here it says hello admin you have hello admin your new ad then here is add title is replaced with the title of the ad then link add link is, is over here then poster as in who posted the ad is a user one then things and the, whatever you put here is what you're going to see here so actually you can edit the content of this uh, new uh, add um add email to whatever you want you can add anything here as long as you don't temper with this you don't temper with this and you don't touch this just compose your message and customize it to your taste here you have to edit this by clicking on this and put whatever link you want to put here and edit this and put the name of your site so basically this is what you'll be doing on each and every of this until you get whatever you want then you know that you are true with this section so I don't want to waste so much time on this email template so I quickly head over to the next one here which is users so what does this mean the users on your site do you need users to verify their phone number whenever they want to register if you choose yes it means that any user will have to re uh, verify his or her phone number before the user can log in now new user email verification do you want a new user's email to be verified before that user can log in you decide whatever you want here now select the page if verification email is not sent to a new user i believe what's going on here is in case the verification email is not able to to, to deliver to, to the user then there should be a page here customized which will be made available to that user in order to click or something so this is is not concluded now new user email to admin when you have a new user 
and such a person registered on your site, you want an, as an admin to get an email notification. If yes, turn it on. If no, put it off. Then welcome email to user as well. You want a, a new user to receive a welcome email. You answer that here. User phone number required. If you need a user to add his or her phone number during registration, you set it on. If not, put it off. And the public profile, you have simple and modern. I advise you to go with modern. Anything modern here, you go with it. Now, do you want to enable badge on the uh, user's profile? Make a choice here. You want to enable social profiles as well? Do that here. Do you want to enable user ratings? Answer that here. Do you want to send email to user on new rating? Answer that here. User contact form on profile on public profile. You want a user um, um, contact form on public profile. You have to answer what you want here. You need a capture while a user is registering. You can do that here. Then here, sellers. Per page. How many sellers do you want per page? Start recording. Now, it's actually possible to display all the sellers on your site on a particular page. But the problem is that that page is not created. So you have to create such a page. And if you want to do that, I'll show you how you're going to create a sellers page so you simply click on add a new page so here I'm going to put whatever I want as a title of such a page so I'm going to use sellers here then something is going to happen here on that template I want to choose all sellers by here and I'm going to click publish and when that is published I can view that page and here is um all the page all the um, all the users on your site so this is a page you can add this under a menu if you want to display it on your site you can include that on this menu and to be shown somewhere where site users can also um go check out your users you can see these admin these are user one two three four five and six so that is what goes on here so this place is actually how many of such users do you want on a page if you want six on a page like this you're gonna say save so let's once again check out the page and reload and here we have six sellers on one page so that's basically what we do here so we continue then show delete button if you activate this it gives the user the option to delete his or her account and where does this button show up on users profile so let's see if we can locate this. So um, there is a user, user one. So what we're looking for now is how to get a user's profile. If you come here, click on profile. Okay then edit profile and when we go down we see delete account here so and that's because it's turned on and we've come to the end of this section 
let's go over to url rewriting now this section is kind of uh, less important but i just want to show you what's going on here um if for example you open an ad like this one here okay then when you look into the url you will see that immediately after the domain name there is an ad slash then the title of the ad we can actually change this ad to whatever we want and that's what we can do here let's say for example we want to change that ad to anything at all like something like post and hit save then we will go back and try to reload that ad oops i just say reload as you can see here the ad has been replaced with post and that's exactly what we have here so i don't know if that will be important to you depends on what you want now on the other hand on the category as well if you want to replace uh, something like this um let me show you what i mean if you go to your home page for example you click on a category for example mobile and tablet then you're going to see something like add category once again then before um the uh, category name but in case you want to replace this add category whatever you put here is going to replace this add category let's go ahead and try it so we're going to put something here just to sh show what's going on just to show you an example even though this does not make sense then when that is done we come back and reload this page okay okay that is, we have an error so that won't work let's go back and start afresh by clicking on a particular category I go again click on a category and here we have this slug replacing the ad category so that's that if you have any questions so far based on what we have covered kindly contact me and i will see what i can do about that have a very nice day